Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a conversion focused double header on your website for your landing pages using Thrive Architect. Let's get started. Now, this was built with Thrive Architect's custom header editor. And that is a very cool feature within Thrive Architect because the headers you build are then automatically saved so you can use them as templates or modify them for other pages on your site. Now, we call this a double header because it has two elements, two bars, let's say design bars that uh, comprise it. Now, any basic header has a some sort of brand identity or, or logo associated with it, as well as a navigation menu. What makes this particular double header cool is not only does it have a have those elements, but it has it splits the menu in half, and then offers some sort of lead generation free download uh, in exchange for an email with it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to build this. And of course, you can customize it for whatever needs you have on your site. So let's get started by selecting a blank landing page template. And then to enter the custom header editor area, we can click this cog icon on the right sidebar, click the global tab, and then select the header option. Now it asks us to choose a header and of course we can select uh, one of our previous headers that we've created or since we want to build one from scratch we can come in here to create new header and select the blank header template. Now that we're in the header editor we can click the edit header button and begin. First thing to start uh, when doing this is to add a background section inside your header area. Just quickly, we'll change the layout and position padding to zero on all sides. So the background section covers the entire area. And then I just want to change the background color to this dark blue. After that, we can clone that background section and just change the color to light green. So now we have the two bar elements set up to be filled out. Now. This top part of the double header basically is the text logo and the split menu. So to do that, select the columns element and drop it in the middle of that first background section. And then let's split it in this uh, one third, one third, one third division. I'm just going to quickly change the gutter width to something like 10 and um, remove the default padding, put it to zero. Okay. so. First things first, we let's work on this left third of the top bar. And so essentially what that is, is uh, two divider sections and a custom menu element. So we come find the custom menu element and drop it in that left third column. We're going to create a custom menu, choose the template, and just let's go basic for now. So in order to start modifying the, each of the elements here, let's adjust the typography of each of these uh, navigation elements. Let's make the color white and let's set the font to Lato. So Google fonts, Lato, and we'll say a 400 font weight. Click apply. Now what we need to go in is, is actually modify the copy and the, the number of navigation elements we have here. So you click on the custom menu breadcrumb option and come into menu items and let's delete the sub navigation things and go from four, four to three. And then we click on the pencil and we can, we can change the copy, add our URLs and whatnot. Click apply and we'll do that for each of them. And you'll notice that um, from the example, it's it's all capital letters, so we can change that here in the menu items. And they're grouped, so if we change one, they'll all change uh, together. And let's just make the size 18 pixels. And so essentially that gets the that first half of the split menu uh, completed, and we just need to come in here and add some uh, divider elements. So we'll drop that in, change the color to white, go from solid to dashed slim and maybe increase the thickness of it a bit. We'll change the layout so it's only 20 pixel padding on the bottom side. And then we can clone it. Let's 
go ahead and grab a custom menu and drag it in between the two dividers. And then we just need to adjust, go from the, the padding beyond on the bottom to the top here. And in fact, let's just change the side pen, padding to 40 for, for the divider. So it's sort of a, it has a bit of a, a gap between it and the side of the column. Now that the first third is complete, we can just do some quick cloning action to get the divide the same dividers in the right one third column. And we will also clone the custom menu, drag it in between our dividers and modify it quickly. So custom menu breadcrumbs, go into main options, menu items, and then we can just change the text. One more thing I'd like to do is just change the width of columns quickly. So how about 40% on either side? And then we just, uh, to finish, we can just drop some text inside the middle column, center it, change the font color to white, change the font size to say 40. We can change the font type to, I believe it's Cali Graffiti. Perfect. We're gonna change the brand name. Let's go into the columns and um, vertically center everything. And then I just want to change this color to this pinkish salmon color and increase the size of the F. And with that, we have like kind of a cool um, text-based logo. I'll just underline those. Okay, not so bad, right? Easy to do. Top bar complete for the desktop version of our header, our custom header. Now let's work on the background section. And you can see it, this is also split into three columns, but not so much in terms of the one-third, one-third, one-third spacing. So to start, let's go ahead and drop uh, another columns element inside the background section. But this time we'll do one quarter, two quarter, one quarter spacing. We can change the gutter width again to say something like 10. And to start on the left side, we wanna drop an image element into the column. We'll select this free report image and then just adjust its image size to maybe 250 pixels. We can uh, center it up. And one of the cool effects here is that the free report sticks out above the, the upper bar and uh, the bottom of the lower bar here. So to recreate that, we need some negative margins. So let's say minus 10 pixels, minus 10 pixels, and then still not enough perhaps. But the only problem now is that this free report, it's not the top element in terms of uh, dis displaying itself, this top background section is. So to change that, we need to go into the advanced part of the layout and position tab of the image. And then let's, cl let's click on relative and change the Z index to something like 10. And then we can go into the background section of that upper bar and uh, also change, say, the Z index to zero. And then that will show the image on the very top uh, above everything else. So with that, let's work on the text in the center column. So I'll just drop some basic text in here, change the font color to white. Let's copy the Next, enter it in here. Let's go ahead and change the font type to Lato. Okay, let's just increase, increase the text size to something like 30 pixels, make it bold. Now we can, um, let's go ahead and clone that and then just copy paste the subhead here. italicize it, make it smaller. And then once again, we can come into this columns element and let's center align it vertically. 
Okay. So that's that's looking pretty nice for the first two um, parts of the, the column, the three part column. So finally, we just need to add a download button in this third column. So we can do that by going into um, the right sidebar, selecting the button element, dropping it inside, we'll quickly edit it, um, make it this bright, bright red color, maybe make the size of the button medium, it's centered. Um, let's come into borders and just give it a, some subtle rounding of the borders. And it already has this default hover effect on it, um, where when you hover it, it kind of indicates that it can be clicked. We'll change the text to download now. Maybe bold it. And don't forget, since it's a button, you can come into this main options tab and, tab and add your buttons link. So with that, we've, we've done a pretty good job getting the header ready on desktop. But we, we can't stop there because we also need to mobile optim tablet and mobile optimize um, your header. And we can do that by coming into the tablet and mobile view, editing view. Now, you see that the, the edits on the desktop don't immediately translate to a tablet optimized uh, version. And that's partly because we have two custom menu elements here, the split header version. And that's, that's really not going to look very good on on tablet or mobile. So we need to address this. And the way we do we can do this is we'll end up hiding these dividers and each of these split uh, navigation menus. Uh, so they won't show up on tablet and mobile and then add a background section above it with a completely new custom menu um, that will display on tablet and mobile for your visitors. We'll add one more background section to the top of your header. Again, we can just quickly modify it, take the default padding out. We can go to the background style and give it a, a background color. And we will, um, let's go ahead and just clone one of our custom menus here and add that to the middle of the background section. Let's just give the background section a little bit of padding, 20 on all sides is fine. And then we can go into the um, tablet view and modify it here. In order to make this custom menu work on tablet and mobile, we need to we need to basically add new navigation items to this third custom menu. And we do that by being in the desktop view mode, going to the custom menu um, breadcrumb, and then we can add three new items here. So we will need to, these will be a podcast about an academy. And now let's go into the tablet view mode and we'll make some more modifications here. The icon color will be white. We can look at the menu state in, um, in this drop down menu state when people click on the hamburger menu, hamburger menu. And now we can modify the, the typography to show up in black instead of white. And now the only other thing we need to do is make sure that the custom menu is um, shows up on top of all the other features. So we can do that by coming into layout and position, advanced, and let's give it a very high Z index. So now when we open the hamburger menu, we, we can uh, clearly see the drop down items all in one place. To finish setting this up for um, for tablet mode, let's let's go and uh, into the responsiveness of each of these um, split menu features and just disable them to not show on tablet and mobile. So after doing that, you notice that only the hamburger menu shows and looks like we need to just quickly expand the something that looks a little more appropriate. Maybe we can um, we can actually take out some of this spacing on the top menu bar. And then we just need to adjust the size and uh, spacing of the bottom menu elements. 
So with that, our tablet mode looks pretty good. Let's just finish this by looking at the mobile design. Maybe we, we think that the, the image isn't working here. So what we can do is just go to that responsiveness tab and make uh, hide the image on mobile. And then after that, really all we have to do is make this, um, make the, the text design look a little better. So we can go, we can click on the background section element, go into the layout and position, and let's just add some padding to the background section to make that text look a bit more well-placed. And with that, we basically have a mobile and conversion optimized double header ready to go on your website. And every time you want to use this particular double header on a landing page of yours, when you click done and then save your work, now this header will actually be saved as a template in your in the header editor. I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial showing how to build a conversion focused double header for the landing pages of your website using Thrive Architect. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.